The Compagnie des Chumas de Verre du Midi ABBR. CF du Midi, also known in English as the Midi or Southern Railway, was an early French railway company which operated a network of routes in the southwest of the country, chiefly in the area between its main line, which ran from Bordeaux, close to the Atlantic coast, to set on the Mediterranean, and the Pyrenees. The company was established by the Pereira brothers, who thus broke the virtual monopoly held in France by James Rothschild on the slow-paced railway projects taking place in the area of Paris during the 1840s and 1850s. The Rothschild branch of Paris responded by strengthening its grip on the sector with an alliance to the industrialist Talibot. The Pereira in turn founded their financial company Credit Mobilier. In 1934, the company was merged with the Chumas de Verre de Paris et Orleans to become part of the Chumas de Verre de Paris et Orleans et du Midi. In 1856, the Midi completed its rail line from Bordeaux to Toulouse. In 1857, it continued on from Toulouse through Narbonne to Set. This put it in competition with the Canal du Midi, and on 28 May 1858 the railway took over the lease of the canal. Electrification <inaudible> 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 In 1909 the Compagnie du Midi launched a vast program of electrification of its lines under the impetus of the engineer Jean-Raoul Paul It was a huge challenge for the time because it went far beyond the scope of railway operations alone. It was necessary to build infrastructure such as dams, power plants and distribution systems. The company was far from coal production centers, so it was hard to get the fuel required for steam traction, and some coal was even imported from England. The proximity of the Pyrenees made hydropower generation possible and this favored electrification. The shortage of coal during the War of 1914–1918, and especially its prohibitive cost after the war, provided further impetus for electrification. After investigations in Switzerland and Germany, a system using alternating current AC at 12 kV and 16 and 2 thirds Hz was chosen for economic reasons. The three-phase system was rejected as being too complex so a single-phase system was chosen. The narrow-gauge Cerdania line was electrified from the start because its gradients up to 6 were too steep for steam traction. The Pepinian, Vulfroch de Confluent line Pyrenees Orientals was chosen as the site for future tests because it provided conditions of both plain and mountain. This was the only line that was not later converted to 1,500 volts. It operated thus until 1971. From 1911, the company tried six different types of overhead line system and chose the American Westinghouse system. This design was very simple and was capable of absorbing temperature variations. Even before the end of the tests, the company became a candidate for the construction of Eastern and Western Trans-Pyrenees Railways. Electric traction was chosen from the outset, reducing construction costs by allowing steeper gradients and sharper curves. The company then began an intensive electrification program for the network, including work on the tracks, the construction of hydroelectric plant for the production of electrical energy and the creation of a distribution network for the transport of this energy. On 29 August 1920, the government imposed the 1,500 volts direct current DC system, mainly because the army did not want to use the same system as Germany. The reaction of the MIDI was immediate and the company launched, in December 1920, new electrification programs at 1500 V. From 1923, all facilities operated at 1500 volts, except the Pepinian, Vulfroch de Confluent line. In less than two years, the MIDI network had succeeded in converting. The program of electrification of the MIDI was impressive because, in only a dozen years, the electrified network of the MIDI formed a coherent whole. The program ended in 1932, with the exception of the Montauban, Set Link, which was only switched on in 1935 after the signing of an agreement with the Chumas de Verre de Paris et Orleans PO. Topic. 
Topic: <laughs> Electric locomotives. Where numbers appear inconsistent, this may be because MIDI and SNCF used different numbering systems. Alternating current Six prototype locomotives were ordered MIDI numbers first E3001 from Thomson & General Electric E3101 from AEG & Henschel E3201 from Westinghouse, later SNCF 1C13900 E3301 from Brown Bovary and SLM Winterthur E3401 from Ateliers du Nord et de Lay E3501 from Schneider Z23031 23044 railcar later SNCF Z4900 class Z23051 23063 railcar later converted to 1500 volts DC to become SNCF Z4500 class direct currents NCF numbers first 2C23100 previously MIDI E3101-10 SNCF class 2D25000 previously MIDI E4801-4824 SNCF class BB1500 previously MIDI E4001-40 SNCF class BB1600 previously MIDI E4501-50 SNCF class BB4100, previously MIDI E4101-4190 SNCF class BB4200, previously MIDI E4201-4250 SNCF class BB4600, previously MIDI E4601-4650 SNCF class BB4700, previously MIDI E4701-4717 SNCF class BB4730, rebuilds of some BB4200 and BB4700 locomotives SNCF class Z4200, railcar, MIDI Z23201-215 SNCF class Z4300, railcar, MIDI Z23001-015 SNCF class Z4500, railcar, MIDI Z23051-063